Hi guys, welcome to our new video. For this video, we'll be talking about functions, or specifically, we'll be talking about the user-defined functions. Of course, the first thing that we need to discuss in this video, we need to talk about the, um, the description of, of the function. Uh, why do we need to use function? I'll be showing you um, on how to create the function, how to call a function, and to use the different types of arguments or parameters in PHP functions. Okay, so let's get started. First thing that we need to do, of course, we need to define what is a function. So if we will talk about function, function is a piece of code which takes one more input in the form of parameter or arguments and does some processing and returns a specific value. But again, it really depends on a. Uh, uh, it really depends on the problem or on the program. So I know that you're familiar with this one already because we talk about functions before in our in our previous course. But in this uh, but in this part, um, we are um, discussing the function using PHP programming or PHP approach. Okay. So why do we need to use a function? First, it will help us reduce a duplicate duplication of code. So basically, as a programmer, sometimes we are so happy or we are so overwhelmed if our codes are very many or are so many, right? But sometimes we forgot that um, those codes are all or some of the codes are duplicated already so functions is the solution aside from reducing or uh, reducing the um, duplication of code it will also help us reuse our code since it's already there all we need to do is just to reuse it or to recycle it next decomposing of complex problems into a simpler pieces basically for this one um, um, for this one, um, if you have a complicated or a complex type of problem for a program, um, it will help, uh, the function can help us um, segregating it by creating a function. For example, this function is intended only for some. Then the whole program, it talks about calculator. So this function only talks about some. Then the next function, it talks about um, difference, right? It will help us decompose or segregate those, um, segregate um, into simpler pieces um, the problem. Okay, next, improving the quality, uh, the clarity, talking about the clarity of the code. So, of course, by using a function, um, it will help us improve the clarity of the code by putting uh, uh, a related, uh, putting a related name of the function name okay next information hiding it will also help us the function can help us um, hide the information or data in our program okay so there are two uh, there are two parts um in the user defined function first uh, i will be doing the creation um, i'll be showing um, I will be showing to you guys how to create a PHP function. Then I will help you call a PHP function. Okay. Uh, by the way, I almost forgot. Um, the one that um, functions like count, functions like um, size of, those are functions, but it's not user defined because it's already def uh, it's already default or it's already in the PHP already okay so right now we are creating a user defined function basically um, a function that you're the one who's creating it okay next so how do we create a PHP function first um, the PHP function name should start with the keyword function and all the PHP code should be inside the curly braces I know that you are so familiar with this because I keep on, um, in, uh, I'm actually uh, I'm forcing you 
um, to make sure that once you open a curly brace, you need to close it, right? Please don't forget about that. Also, um, in function name, it should start with a letter and an underscore, then numbers and special characters are no-no. We can actually, um, in rules, in creating a function name, it is also similar to the creation of variable name, right? Or the literals. Make sure that we are not using or we are not creating a function name that starts with number or a special character or a special symbols because it should be a letter, small or capital letter, or an underscore, just like this example or this syntax below. Of course, this is a function, then the function name. Also, I almost forgot, the function name here, it should be related to the purpose of the chunk or the piece of code. So for example, this is sum, function sum. Of course, um, the function sum should be, re uh, the, uh, the codes inside the function sum, uh, it will help us um, add numbers or vice versa. Okay. Next, here, I will be showing you right now how to create um, a PHP function and how to call it. Okay, so what you can see right now in the presentation is, okay, there is a title, user-defined function, then welcome to PHP function. Okay, first thing that you need to do um, here, it's already running, I'm good with that. Here, let me open my, one moment, one moment. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with my Visual Studio Code? Here. So let me create a file and let, let me save it. Function x1. Dot, no, x1.php. Oh no, I already have that one. Hmm. Function 1. There. So, first thing that we need to do, of course, uh, the doc type HTML. Then HTML here, then closing the HTML. Let me make it bigger. Oh. Next, um, head. Close the head. So inside the head, it's the title. And what should be the title? The title is user-defined function. Next, body. Close the body. Inside the body, actually, I can basically start creating my, or encoding my PHP codes here. So here, um, I can create right now my function. And my function, it's welcome. So it should say, let me put echo um, welcome to php function semicolon and let me save it after saving it this is the time where i will okay local host function one refresh it oh i forgot i was able sorry i was able to create my function how unfortunately Creation of a function. Unfortunately, I forgot to call it. So, I'll put here, I'm um, calling the function. Let me go back. There, it's working now. Okay. Let me proceed. Oh, okay. Here, the, um, this is already the code. Um, don't worry, because aside from the presentation, I inserted all the codes in the presentation. Also, aside from that, I will also be um, inserting, or I will upload all the PHP files in the Google Drive folder, and I will share it 
in our class, in our Google Classroom. Okay? Example number two. So, um, user defined function two is the title. Then click me, the button, then it will say something like this. Okay. So, basically, here, I will just copy this and create a new file. So, in creating a new file, put here too. Then, here, since um, um, as what well, I can remember on the, what do you call this? Um, on the presentation, um, there is a button, right? There is a button. I'll put it here first. I'll be creating a form. Form action, then um, I'll save it first. Uh, this is function 2.php. There. Function 2.php method. The method here is post. Close it. There. After that, close the form. And inside the form action, um, I'll be inserting right now the submit. Then in the submit, I'll put here click me. Oh, am I right? Your name. I'll put it here submit BTN. <laughs> BTN, it's a BTS, but it's BTN. BTN stands for button. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. That's it. I use submit here already. Then after that, mm -hmm, let me remove this. This is the part where I will insert my PHP code. Uh, in my PHP code, I will start with if statement. Um, this if. Um, the first thing that I need to do, um, I need to check the server if if the, what do you call this? If the request method used in the program is actually post. Okay, aside from that, I will also use the eset and let me check if the If the submit button has a value or not there so if if the result here is true this is the time that where I will call the function welcome unfortunately I did not create my function welcome yet but I called it here already I need to create function welcome function welcome in the function welcome, I'll go ahead and welcome to PHP function. This is actually the same, just like in our first example. Okay, as what you can see, um, <clears throat> I used, um, as what you can see, um, I'm in the function to the PHP, right? Then I also called um, the form action I call the function to the PHP. So since I use that, there should be uh, there should be a, a, a code that will check if the method um, called by the form action when when I submit the button, it's post or get. But for now, I will be using post because since I'm using a method post, I'll make sure that it should be post here. Okay. But if I'll change this one to get, basically it will this will not work. It will go out to the program or it will terminate the program because the method assigned here in the form already is post. Okay? And the ESET, I know that you um, you're familiar with this. It will check if there is a value once I uh, once I submit the submit button. Or once um, the submit button is clicked. Okay, so let me save it and let me go back to the browser. Function 2, once it click me, there you go. It's working. There. 